Hey guys, it's Charlie. It is the 7th of September, uh, Tuesday, and Labor Day is behind us. We're going into the full bore, let's get reelected mode uh, by all the uh, senators and congressmen uh, in D.C. whose uh, necks are on the line. Um, I, honestly, at this point in time, I, I'm utterly convinced that the outcome of this election is absolutely meaningless. Now, there's going to be some of you out there who listen to this who are, are uh, dyed in the wool uh, conservative Republicans who think that that is just ridiculous because Sean Hannity has said he's counted out every, every day uh, to the midterm election on his show. Um, and, and Glenn Beck's out there saying we got to have change in D.C. Nothing is going to change. I don't care if the House uh, becomes controlled by the Democrat as well as the Senate. The damage has been done by both parties. They're, they've elected and voted in uh, enormous power and control over this uh, economy. They're not going to give this power up. I don't care which one looks in the camera and says, we're going to repeal Obamacare. Lies. That is not going to happen. That's why you hear uh, being introduced into the lexicon now. Uh, we're going to repeal and replace. They're not taking away their power. They're not going to vote away uh, their own positions of authority. That's not going to happen. Wake up. If you think that Republicans sweeping in is going to make a difference, then you have drinking the Kool-Aid and you have been sound asleep for the last 18 months. Understand something. The $350 billion the president comes out today talking about in new stimulus, even though we're going to call it something else, we're going to call it the Save America from the Brink Bill Act, whatever. This is just a small token that has been spent so far to revive this economy. Think back 18 months ago, fall of 2008, if we'd have let these criminal enterprises that have led to the dismantling of the manufacturing base in this country, led to the uh, enslavement of uh, foreign labor so we could have cheap garbage on our shelves at Walmart, if we'd have let these companies fail, would we be better off now or would we be worse off now? Because if you listen to your leaders... That, so, that allegedly care about your future. We needed to save Wall Street in order to make Main Street healthy. Where's the health of Main Street? Where is it? Where's the health of this nation when we're promised a trillion dollar stimulus package would never see unemployment rates go above 8%? We are at 9.6% now by the fictitious U3 number and it's never coming back. Why? Because we can't trade paper, we can't sell insurance policies, we can't generate nothing but mush out of our universities. They come out and they think they can go to work for Goldman Sachs and make a million dollars a year. That We can't do that and call it prosperity. We can't continue kicking the can down the road because we're at the end of the road. The president comes out and talks about a $350 billion stimulus package. We're not going to call it stimulus, whatever we're going to call it. We're going to have 150,000 more miles of road that we're going to redo. We're going to do 400,000 or 4,000 miles of new high-speed rail across the country. 150 miles of uh, new runways for airports. This is stuff. Why wasn't this paid for with the first trillion dollar special interest written uh, stimulus package? You got guys like Paul Krugman, the uh, Keynesian economist from hell working for the New York Times, telling us that it wasn't enough. We need to do more. Look, every time these pinheads come on and say we're going to spend more money to help the American people, take it for 180 degrees uh, from what they're saying, because that's where the truth will lie. All they're doing is sinking you further into debt and enriching their crony capitalist friends. Period. End of story. You spent a trillion dollars in stimulus less than 18 months ago, and we cannot get better than 9.6% unemployment. We can't get better than uh, a 1999 Dow Jones industrial average of 10000 It's a scam and it's a game. This money did not go to make Main Street healthy. It made Wall Street healthy. They're not creating another bubble because there's no other sector in this economy to create a bubble in other than the bailout bubble. This is a last ditch Hail Mary to get them across the finish line in November. And it doesn't matter what happens because at the end of the day, our country is busted. Our wealth has been stolen and it's not coming back. Crony capitalism, these power elite banksters on Wall Street run this country, plain and simple. I don't care what the president comes out and says. All I need to do is look at his actions. 
since he's been in office. Look at the actions of George W. Bush when he was in office. Who is healthy, happy, and whole? Ask yourself that question. When you answer it truthfully to yourself, you will realize who this next stimulus package is for. And it isn't you. That's all I got.